welcome guys to yet another tutorial this time i'll be flashing resurrection remix rom on the moto g5 plus it's, it's quite surprising how so many developers have already working on this rom on this phone to develop so such good roms resurrection remix is one of the best roms available in the market it offers loads of customization options so first of all all you have to do is uh, unlock the bootloader and flash the tour of recovery Rooting is not mandatory, you may or may not root your phone, but you need to unlock the bootloader and flash the torque recovery. So, let me quickly begin. Since I've not rooted, I will have to switch off and uh, go to recovery mode. Now, you have to press volume up down and power button to unlock your phone into the bootloader mode that's the boot has the bootloader mode then use the volume keys to go to recovery mode and then press the power button this will boot you into recovery mode Now click on wipe and swipe to factory reset. Factory reset is done. Now go to install. First of all, the two files that you need that is the gapps file and the rom.zip file will be posted in the description below. Here are the two files open gapps arm 7.1 mini and resurrection remix. So, first of all, flash the resurrection remix rom. wait for it to get done and then you have to flash the gapps file all these flashing all these during all these flashing processes you have to be patient so the rom has been successfully flashed Now you have to go back and flash the open, open gapps arm file, swipe to confirm flash. Again as I mentioned you have to be patient for this. But it's definitely gonna be worth the wait because resurrection remix rom is one hell of a rom. So again installation has been complete. Now again, uh, just go back and you have to reboot your system and hit when you see this message, just hit the do not install button and don't you can clearly see it. Actually, if you think the Google Apps package is a, a bit big in size, so you can what you can do is go for the nano or the micro version and some of the apps you will you can install from the play store and the basic apps will be installed from the gapps file and rest of the apps that are not included in the gapps version you can install them uh, after the setup through the play store the initial boot definitely may take them take some time so don't panic guys welcome guys resurrection remix rom has been finally booted and we are ready to go So here's the quick setup. Let's go. I will set up as new. I will use that later.
so okay next i will add the fingerprint fingerprint plus pattern continue continue next it's quite fast it is detecting my fingerprint really very fast fingerprint added done okay next all set I will use the Debussy or the pixel launcher I will prefer the pixel launcher okay just let me check how the Debussy launcher looks like so everything's up and running guys this is the resurrection remix 7 rom let me quickly jump on the settings here are the various customization options there are tons of tons of customizations options there it will take you all day long to explore explore all of these about phone android 7.1.2 device name potter let's take a look at some of the customization features that are offered <coughs> by this uh, resurrection remix rom so let me quickly jump onto the settings and then configurations first of all this the clock customizations clock style I prefer it in the center so you can change it according to your style you can even change the clock font size now the custom logos battery you can change the battery icon the status bar circle looks good battery icon large battery icon personal battery personal hidden inside the icon that's pretty much it system icons notification ticker system ui tuner now jump onto the panel notification panel nothing much useful there volume panel again nothing nothing much nothing interesting recent uh, you can customize generally ui clear all button you can set show the clear all button on or off clear all button bottom center i prefer it now feel free here, here you can uh, this is the clear all button now uh, recent style hidden apps slim recents quick settings quick animations you can set them on or off quick pull down or directly pull down from the right to jump onto the notification uh, these quick toggles just put on that uh, down, uh, pull down from the right then tile layout you can customize the, uh, this layout mm, then there are some gestures tap the lock screen to sleep power button torch long press that is not much there is not of much use lock screen shortcuts you can change the lock screen shortcuts gestures anywhere you can enable the gestures anywhere bar mm, i can add for example add gesture i can if i want to open youtube i can just draw a y and done now if i want to open youtube i can tap here and draw a gesture so i will draw y YouTube has has opened. Now let's jump on to battery. Okay, let's settings, lock screen, gestures, buttons, navigation bar. You can change the navigation bar according to your own preference. Power menu. Uh, you can set screenshot, screen record, retain more reboot menu. If you set check the screenshot box you can see here I get the screenshot button advanced restart yeah that's pretty that's a pretty neat feature if you want to just reboot your phone it will give you some of the options to reboot and recovery bootloader etc mm, that's pretty much it in the button section animations then 
फेस डिस्प्ले साइज यू कैन चेंज द डिस्प्ले साइज कस्टमर डेंसिटी पिक्सल्स एम्बियन डिस्प्ले दैट इज ऑन इफ यू स्विच ऑफ द फोन यू वे यू हैंड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज and one best part best part of this rom is bolt it's bolt enabled so you can see device is hd capable geo sim working amazingly no issues whatsoever even calling is working and the data net is, the data pack is also working now miscellaneous fingerprint scanner these are some of the customization options and that's pretty much it guys the Again, there are lots, loads, and loads of customization options. Some other new store. features that I noticed in this ROM are the fingerprint gestures. Uh, these all you have to do to enable them is jump onto settings and click on gestures. And here are the fingerprint gestures. Fingerprint tap. You can tap to go to home button. You can swipe left to go right or to go back. And you can hold hold the fingerprint scanner to lock the device. And quickly you can unlock. and then uh, another great feature of this rom is it is pre-rooted yes guys this rom is pre-rooted my disk manager is already installed and that's pretty much it guys and yeah the camera also works amazingly with no issue sometimes it does stop but it works fine you can re re uh, record full hd videos at 60 frames per second there's an even an option for 4k ultra hd video and you can even record slow mo videos at 120 fps and 480p or 720p so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching and if you like this video please do drop the like button do hit the like button below and if you have any queries please feel free to drop them in the comment section below do share this video and please hit the subscribe button for new videos thanks for watching i see you in the next video